customer's menu, income tracker. Okay, so in here, there's a couple of uh, batching mechanisms. So I can, from here, even if I didn't mark an invoice to be printed in the invoice itself, I can also print invoices in batch from here. So for example, let's say I was going to want to print all my open invoices. Easy. Just click right there where it says open invoice, a little um, a mustard or yellow button there. That will only show me my open invoices. I can also just show the overdue if I wanted to just print overdue, whatever it happens to be. Uh, so I can select the group, the ones that I want. Then I can click on the select all button right there in the top right. Okay, and then here where it says batch actions, I can either click on invoices, which will basically batch print them all. So I'm gonna go to invoices and that will send to the printer and that will print all the invoices I selected in batch, or I can also email them straight from here. So this is really good. And, and, and if in any of the customers that don't have emails, it will take you to this screen set, letting you know, hey, fill in the email so I can do a batch email for you. Now, why this is powerful is because a lot of times uh, we want to, you know, just kind of get a get a full view of our entire receivables, and then maybe just, uh, you know, print out my five most highest value ones, and just print those and put them in a certified receipt letter or something like that. So, so this is this is just a really fast, quick way of selecting several invoices based on all of these sortable columns and email them or, or print them in batch. That's a really, really uh, interesting uh, thing. Really, really interesting thing. Okay, uh, let's go into estimates. And this is another really interesting thing. So when you work with estimates quite a bit, um, especially when you wanna run a report of active estimates and inactive estimates. And what, what do I mean by that? Uh, many a times people use QuickBooks as a like a mini CRM. I, I want to project what deals may be coming next month, or what, I want to project what what deals may be coming uh, next week. Okay. Um, so one of the ways they do it is by looking at all the active estimates. So if you look at QuickBooks right now, there is four estimates here. So I'm going to double click on any of these to, just to go to it. And there's a little checkbox here that says mark inactive or mark active. So it's really inconspicuous. It's hard to tell right off the bat, but if it says mark as active, that means the estimate is inactive. If it says mark as inactive, that means it's currently active, but that has a value somewhere. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So I can have some that are marked active and some that are marked inactive. So I can basically go through them, mark some and mark none. And then I can show a particular report. I'm gonna to go to reports. Where are, oh, right here, sorry. It's under jobs, time, and mileage. And you go to estimates by job. So when you go to estimates by job, you're gonna get a report of all the estimates and you're gonna have a little check mark for the active ones and a check mark for the inactive ones. So you could manually go into each one, make it inactive or make it inactive. Uh, or if you go back into the income tracker, I can actually select all of them in one shot and go to batch actions and click mark as inactive, making them all 100% inactive. 